What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. Y'all already know the title. Y'all already seen the thumbnail. Let's get right into it. Dark Side's daughter, Grail. She debatably is one of those few characters that has the most little amount of screen times, but possibly has some of the most flashy battle feats known to man. It's actually ridiculous on how many flashy battle feats she's had, considering that the very little appearance she's had. And I don't even know where she is currently. Does anybody else know? Let me know in the comment section below if you know what she's currently doing. Like, she's absolutely insane. I guess that's what happens when you mix new god genetics with Amazonian genetics, right? Just a force to be reckoned with. It really puts the nail in the coffin on how powerful the Omega Beams can possibly be. There is some that even speculated that they think her Omega Beams are better than New 52 Dark Side's Avatar's Omega Beams. I mean, the way they're portrayed, it's, it's, I can't really doubt them. I mean, it's ridiculous. New 52 is one of those universes that people seem to underestimate. And hopefully by the end of this video and my other videos I have on my page about the New 52 characters. By the way, I have a video about Dark Side, the post-crisis era avatar video. So make sure you check that out because this is a daughter. You know, all these videos go hand in hand with each other. It's nice to marathon videos like this. So go ahead and check that out if you would like. But... When it comes to Grail, man, just for those I thought I was lying, she is the daughter of Amazon and of a dark side. Grail traveled across the multiverse willing to go find somebody that's willing to go to war with dark side because she knows her father's insane. Oh, man, where do I start with Grail, man? If I'm being honest, man, she doesn't have that many appearances, man, but she could debatably in the, be in the Skyfather ranges, not because of her physical strength, but it's just the freaking blast power she has. A lot of people disagree with me with that. That's fine, but I'm just saying, like, her blast power is ridiculous, dude. She literally doesn't have any low feats. Like, all her feats are flashy. Grail's Omega Beam was able to do this to Metron, causing him serious freaking pain. Already showing you how powerful Omega Beams are. One of the few people that didn't die from it, though. Of course they can do this. They just straight up incinerate three soldiers. Her Omega Beams are that powerful. Uh, duh. Probably her lowest showing. <laughs> that, that's saying something. I guess when she's not trying to actually kill people, she can actually, like, not kill them. Because we know Calabac would, you know, if she tried to kill him, she would kill Calabac. Her Omega Beams was able to cause him serious pain. Yeah, but yeah, she's just a freaking bully. Should have killed him based on all the other people that this has done is too. She's consistently portrayed to be comparable to Wonder Woman when it comes to raw skill, combat speed, and actual physical strength. And as you can see here, her actual Mega Beams, they didn't even hit her directly here and it cut her cheek. Showing the output. <laughs> this might be a plot armor moment. Why didn't they actually hit her though? Like, why, you, what, you didn't look at her directly, Grail? Like, really? She actually freaking killed Superwoman with her Omega freaking beams. A Wonder Woman level being durability wise. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? This is already insane. Like a, a Kryptonian, Amazonian Wonder Woman-ish level being. You just disintegrated like fodder. Durability doesn't just go down just because you're not paying attention. I don't know why they're doing these Green Lanterns like this, but there was these Green Lanterns that even tried to contain Grail. They shot a blast at Grail. She was able to endure the blast from Green Lanterns. And she was kind of able to manipulate energy, kind of, to be able to corrupt Green Lantern Ring? What, what, what does this mean? What? System failure? Ouch. Green Lanterns are generally considered in the multi-solar system black hole ranges, even in New 52, for those that like the low ball, you know, New 52. Grail was kind of like handling Green Lanterns, multiple different Green Lanterns. She released the souls with her energy manipulation ability thanks to an Omega effect, more than likely. As you can see there, like, whoa, Grail got some hacksy abilities. Pretty versatile. Grail is on some, some type of Amazonian ritual type stuff. Like, yeah, some magical sorcery type stuff. Like, you know, cutting her hand. She did this to get Darkseid to, you know, whatever. That's Yeah, that's Anti-Monitor back there. You, you see that, right? It imprisons the darkness in one's heart, right? Mixing it with her own blood and etc. Oh, one on one with the man, the myth, the legend of Batman. Oh, poor Batman. I, f I don't even want to do this to Batman. Oh, man. Just completely blitzes Batman. Like, eh, this is not even right. I actually kind of feel bad for Batman here. Like, she, he just got blitzed. Tells him to sleep and everything. Dodges attacks from Cyborg. She's just, she's just agile and skilled and strong. Wasn't even paying attention to Cyborg, by the way, for those that are curious. Something that should not be taken lightly. Wonder Woman stated that she is faster than her. So if you want to say that she's lying, we got to just at least scale them equal. <laughs> even though Wonder Woman said it herself, guys. So 
You know, Wonder Woman is always impressive when it comes to fighting speed. I even have a couple Wonder Woman videos to show that off, so go ahead and check that out if you like. She kind of thrashed the whole league, including characters like Cyborg, just ripped his arm off here. Yeah, he's not in, he, she's just freaking strong. This is what happens when you got a Wonder Woman level character that's just bloodlusted and is trying to kill. Consistently shown to be able to match Wonder Woman, fight the whole league in the process, get the advantage over the whole league. Even strong enough to bust out of the grip of characters like Wonder Woman, just fight her one on one. Did I tell you that she actually knocked out Jessica Cruz? Oh, okay. I'm just letting you know. A Green Lantern. Uh, a black hole level being just getting knocked out with her raw, raw power, by the way. Obviously, she can cut stuff like Parademons they have with her axe because she's strong. And the axe is probably hexy and super strong still. She broke out of Mixed the Miracles chains, by the way. The guy that can escape anything. So, he would know how to make some chains that would be unescapable, right? But he, she's the... Oh, yeah, by the way. All these Green Lanterns here... All of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that John Stewart? Is that Hal Jordan? And is that Kilowog? She busts out of a cage made by all these Green Lanterns. Do you know how much power this takes? Looks like she mixed her Omega effect with her chain and used it in combat as well. While soloing, soloing the league, she actually got hit with an electrical attack from Sh Shazam. Actually got tagged and slung by Shazam. Looked like he got the advantage. Shazam dropped his guard, didn't pay attention. Then she just blitzed him. That was Shazam. That was not the smartest move, Shazam. You 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 didn't knock her out from that. Like, he literally got impaled here. Didn't kill him only because he probably has a really good healing factor. And, you know, that's, that's how that is. She's, she doesn't play no games. She even got, like, an agree. I'm saying, I swear, her little bit of comic appearance, she's literally fought everybody. She took a blast from Barda. Not only is she able to fight one over for multiple panels, a moment, there was a moment where she temporarily kind of incapacitated her. It seemed like she couldn't really defend herself for a second. Her punching power, like, she's consistently shown to be betrayed to be in that Superman-ish, Kryptonian, Wonder woman range-ish range of strength. Being able to draw blood from kids like Wonder Woman cause severe harm with her blows, attack power-wise. She is so agile, a lot of stuff you don't really pay attention to. She's able to dodge beams of light really quickly. As a baby, her Omega Beams were freaking this strong, guys. Goodness. Naturally, you know, before she started soloing the league and all this stuff, she took out Flash in this weird way. What did she boom tube through his mouth? How the do you do that? Uh, Yeah, that was pretty smart because I guess Flash would have been pretty hard. We know she's not faster than Flash, so even missing that her lasso not working on Grail. Her Omega Beams is so freaking strong. They actually broke Wonder Woman's bracelets. Something that's never been done in the post-crisis continuity ever. This is absolutely insanity. I've never heard of these things being broken. These things have taken Omega Beams in the past. The main reason why fighting Wonder Woman and stalemating her and even being complimented by Wonder Woman is impressive because she's consistently able to hang with people that give Superman a run for the money or a challenge in New 52 era. Like characters like General Zai Farrow even fight both of them off at the same time for a little second. So she's up there with the big heavy black hole level beings even in New 52 days. Wonder Woman is even able to push back characters like Super Doom, not overpower them though. A fusion of Superman and freaking Dooms that yeah, Wonder Woman is that freaking strong. Confirmed to be able to harm Superman with her punching power on a consistent basis with her attack power. Like she has that black hole level attack power. This is the same guy that flies through black holes without even getting any type of faint of pain. She's even done this to Darkseid's eyes before with her sword. Her sword is freaking durable. And she's even broken out of constructs from Green Lantern herself with her attack power. So she's able to intercept blasts of heat vision, which are light speed. React and block dark sides on make beams and deflect them back. These same beams didn't break her bracelets, by the way. Yeah, dark sides didn't break her bracelets. Uh, I wonder why. And these Omega beams were pretty fast. They had they gave Flash a hard time. Flash had to like really sprint his hardest. Not to mention these Omega beams actually one shot KO'd Superman. She's even fast enough to tie up Reverse Flash with her combat speed. Faster than like way past faster than light speed, even in the new 52 days. Yet, Grail is supposedly faster based on the, what Wonder Woman thinks. The best feat with Omega Beams is is where she actually got temporary trapped by Wonder Woman right in the lasso, but it wasn't really working. Her, you know, they had like try to have like a little deep moment with her mom and stuff, and this is where this crap happens. Omega Beams go through her mom, then go through freaking Darkseid. What the heck? Darkseid in the new 52 is portrayed to be pretty freaking pro Dude, her Omega Beams went through Dark Side, dude. New 52 Dark Side. The same Dark Side that evidently killed a whole bunch of Superman across the New 52 universe. What the? This same Dark Side. Oh my God. How, Grail? How did her. How? How? 
does this and fights the solo team of the entire New 52 heroes, including characters like Superman, holding open holes in reality with his bare strength. With his fight with High Father, aka being that should be in the Sky Father Rangers, busting a planet with just a fraction of his Omega Beams, was able to bust plant. See, you see what I'm saying? Yet Grail's Omega Beams was able to like literally blast through this New 52 Dark. So I don't even know how she couldn't be Skyfather ranges with that attack power that goes through this same guy that did all that. I just literally showed you, man, I, I'm going to do it. Don't worry. I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to New 52 Dark Side. I already know I did a video about post-crisis era and I'm going to do another video about Dark Side because Dark Side's awesome. <laughs> but yeah. But like I said earlier, physical strength wise, she, she's, she's in the Superman Wonder Woman ranges, but Omega means pushes her to another level in my personal opinion. But the big question is, there's something I've been thinking about. Like, y'all know I'm a Hulk fan that loves Superman. I love Superman as well, based on my avatar in this video. If her Omega Beams can do this to Dark Side, does that mean her Omega Beams can do the same to Superman or kill Superman or blast a hole through Superman too? Uh, that's something to think about. I mean, if she can do that to Dark Side, especially the New 52 Dark Side, and we have seen what New 52 Dark Side has done to other Superman in the whole New 52 lore. I'm just saying, I mean... That's pretty freaking that's pretty freaking terrifying, if I'm being honest. She has combat speed greater than Wonder Woman's fighting speed greater than Wonder Woman's or greater. I mean, what can I say? You gotta remember Superman in the New 52 is able to rip Doomsday in freaking half. Same Superman that's able to move Brainiac's massive mothership that's bigger than the planet, as you can see right here. Yet Dark Side in the New 52 got a hole blasted in him by Grail with the Omega Beams. Something we ain't even seen. Shoot, we ain't even seen Dark Side's Mega Beams do the damage Grail's Mega Beams done in New 52, like freaking blasting and breaking one of Woman's bracelets. But back to the point, Dark Side himself is just able to do this to other New 52 Supermans. I mean, I mean, in the New 52 lore, I'm just saying. So then there's that. That's that's the crazy part about it, right? Fights the entire league. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I really can't wait to do a Dark Side feat running New 52. He even messed up my boy Val Zod, the Superman, the you know the Black Superman from alternate reality. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, he's consistently fighting Kryptonians in New 52. He's actually pretty freaking ridiculous. So here's the thing: I would say Superman. I feel like, you know, of course, you know he's Superman. He's the poster boy. I feel like he's always gonna have the strength advantage. With that being said, it doesn't mean other people can't beat him, KO him, or challenge him. So I would feel like Grail has Superman-ish level strength. Superman still having an advantage by a decent margin. Superman being a hundred out of a hundred, and maybe Grail being a ninety-two out of a hundred physically, strength-wise. Wonder Woman the same way, being a ninety. But you know, when it comes to skills and and all that, her Omega beams. I do feel like her Omega beams can push her above even him and her. Wonder Woman with that, but physical strength wise, I do think Superman has a chance of beating Grail and same with Wonder Woman and stuff like that. If they gotta just watch out for them during Omega Beams, man, because her durability and strength, they can beat her with you know enough slugfest strength wise. Her strength isn't crazy like her Omega Beams. Her Omega Beams is the crap that makes it freaking scary. But that's about it for my Grail run. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't super long, probably one of my shorter runs, but like hopefully you enjoyed these flashy feats and you got an idea of why those feats I showed you are impressive. Her being able to do that to Kryptonians, her father with Omega Beams, why that's impressive over how strong her father is, things like that. You guys got a general consensus on Grail, because Grail it has grown on me quite a bit. I wish they showed her more, and maybe they will in sooner things. Boy, Super Boy Prime's coming out, though, so that's a good thing. But what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Did I completely wank Grail too much? Do you think she's weaker than what I said? Do you agree that she's un in that Wonder Woman range of strength? I, you have to agree. I mean, it's how do you not agree with that? But like, yeah, if you don't agree, you don't agree. So if you don't agree with that, let me know. Post your comments down below. Fill the links below in the description. Check the playlist, 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 playlist for my channel. Don't forget the playlist. Those are super important. But uh, wait, I'll see you guys later. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think.